They say the fastest way to drive innovation is to simply go racing and in the last five years, Formula E has seen tremendous growth. Today, the new Gen 2 car was unveiled to show us what the future looks like and here it is. Now that is what I'm talking about. It looks like a proper racing car from the future. Amongst the numerous technical changes to the car, here are the key highlights. The car is now longer and wider than before and when it comes to power, it can produce up to 250 kilowatt hours with 200 kilowatt hours available during a race, which means that it can hit a estimated top speed of 280 kilometers per hour. In addition to that, it now has double the battery capacity than the outgoing car, which means effectively no more car swaps during the middle of a race. The minimum weight of the car has now increased to 900 kilos, which makes it 20 kilos heavier than the outgoing car, but it can still achieve all this while doing zero to 100 in under three seconds. If that is in progress, I don't know what is. Now the Gen 2 car also features the controversial halo that has been dividing opinion amongst motorsports fans around the world. But this halo has a Formula E twist to it. Like you have fan boost that is a way for fans to kind of engage with the race and affect the outcome of the race for a driver, the new halo features an LED light strip that changes color depending on race strategy or how much juice the driver has in his car, which I think is a brilliant move because this will definitely affect the way people engage with the sport, especially at a live race. So imagine this, you're watching your favorite driver blast down the straights, looking at his halo, you know his exact status, how much juice he has in the tank, what kind of strategy he's on, which adds just another layer of involvement for the fans. And that is pretty damn cool. Now, complementing all these changes are the new Michelin Pilot Sport all-weather tires that is lighter and offers a lesser rolling resistance than before. Now, I for one can't wait to see what the 2018-2019 season holds for Formula E. And if you've been following our channel closely, you know that we've been lucky enough to cover a couple of races courtesy Team Mahindra Racing. So, if you're not following the current season right now, you should because Mahindra is currently second in the championship by just a sliver and it's exciting stuff to watch. So what did you guys think about the Gen 2 Formula E car? Well, you can let us know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. A lot more content coming your way. I will see you in a bit. Take care. Bye-bye.